I really like this guy's art, um, Adaptive Polarity, I think he is on Instagram. Beautiful depictions of not only mild fascial force transmission lines, but also meridians of energy flow, which if it's too ambiguous, we could say water, charged water, aqueous um, gels that flow through the body, carry nutrition and information electro-conductive, you know, to an extent mobile and moving through the body. And mobile zero points in the fascia is something I was interested in checking out these toroidal shapes. It's like they have a zero point where everything is cohesive towards that point. Talking about forces of compression and the dom tien is what they call it in Tai Chi. Really the whole diaphragm, TBA, and like everything in here can create so much compression. Which is like we're so um, wired and predisposed to think of one thing as good and one thing that, as bad when it comes to polarity, right? So we think we want to have good posture, automatically compression becomes the end. And we are getting beyond this form of thinking. Compression and tension together, right? It's not that we never want our body to compress or never want our back to round. It's about the play between that rounded and extended position that gives us the potentiation to move. It means that compression is actually necessary and just the other side of the coin. We want to be as skilled in compression as we do in expansion. Those zero points are fractal. So it's like this being the zero point for our whole body, if we were to take our head, for example, we could find a zero point to our head. And if we were to take our throat, we could find a zero point to our throat and all of them would lead to significant lines. Uh, these kind of opening and closing, expansive, contractive potentials, which allow for like pressure dynamics and movement of water, for the water to build up pressure in a spot and then release it. It, it really is a much more dynamic system than kind of the lever pulley system that we're used to. With a toroidal field, the idea of everything returning to a zero point, if I swing my arm up, how does it get back here? That's the question. How does that momentum that went that way ultimately come somewhere back here for me to redirect? 